three bands from the rock and roll genre that have not put out many albums but have toured incessantly. First one it comes to mind is Kiss. They have not really done a studio albums in a couple of uh, decades but they sure have been out there touring and it's about time they've wrapped up the touring as well. There's speculation that they're going to become uh, holograms and the band's going to manage them. More power to them. Another band that has toured constantly has been Ario Speedwagon. They had an album in 1996 um, called Building the Bridge. Now that was a major letdown from an album that came out like five years before called The Earth, The Small Man, A Dog, and a Chicken. Which was the like three new members on there that was like the first uh, album of material with uh, Kevin and uh, the other guys. But they had an album a while back called Find Your Way Home that was initially a Walmart exclusive. But they've almost gone like like uh, another couple decades without doing anything. So again, they just tour, tour, tour. They uh, put out like uh, compilations, live albums. Nothing new. How can your new members have their own legacy if they're never making new material? So I do know that they did a Christmas album, but, the, but that's not your typical studio album. So it don't count. Another one would be, this is a prime offender here. After uh, uh, Luke Graham's departure from Foreigner after uh, Mr. Moonlight, which I think is an underrated album. They ended up getting uh, Kelly Hansen. The only studio album of Kelly Hansen's tenure was Can't Slow Down. And um, that is my least favorite Foreigner album of all time. Now, Mick Jones will tell you that he's a prolific songwriter. But he sure has an... Um, shown it in over 15 years where's all the new material you've had plenty of time off not showing up with the band despite your health problems you could have had all this uh, material waiting for the band people like your uh, bassist Jeff and um, Kelly if you want to consider them as foreigner why aren't you creating a legacy for them uh, by making new albums? It's cheaper more than ever now for studio time. You can even do it in-house. There's no excuse. That also goes back to uh, Oreo Speedwagon. Like uh, those guys just don't stand a chance. I mean... People still consider them the new guys because, you know, to their credit, they've been on three studio albums since 1990. But as much as the band tours and um, the professed talent that Kevin says he has, they should have had all these songs. Another thing about Kevin, he claims to be this um, real... Um, strong songwriter but on the earth a small dog his man and a chicken they uh, once again outsourced the songwriting you had like Jesse Harms I think even Diane Warren on a song and other people and it's continued that way 
is the reason why they haven't made much new music is because they do not want to hire the songwriters. It could be. You know, during the pandemic when, when these bands couldn't tour, you would think they would be writing as much music as possible uh, to tour when it got back going. But no, it didn't happen with most of these bands. Another band you could probably lump in this uh, would be the Eagles. You know, they've had a couple comeback albums uh, since the 90s, but as often as they're on the road, uh, they don't have a legacy with Fence Gill or um, the son of uh, Glenn Fry or anybody that's come in and out of that band. Those guys, if they're going to be call, calling themselves the Eagle, they need a statement album that people can say, yes, that is uh, the Eagles because they actually put out an album with those guys. So there's a lot of these bands. I could probably keep on going with them, but I think four is enough for right now. But what are some bands that you think is resting on their laurels and just touring and uh, just not not caring to make new music to uh, keep their fans engaged. And that also applies to the bands that still have most of their members, not just replacement players. So, Styx has had a few albums here and there. So, they dodge the bullet this time but I would like to see a follow-up since they've gotten some goodwill from friend, uh, friends and fans and reviews for their last couple of releases so yeah uh, so let me know what are bands you think that, that have wasted their legacy okay, thank you My brother and his son When out came this rooster With vengeance on his mind He lashed himself to my back And went in for the kill But I fucked him off And kicked him to the curb Damn rooster Why you gon' done me wrong? I mean you no harm Just was visiting your farm Damn rooster Go pick on something you could eat Damn rooster Now you gon' done me wrong I mean you no harm Just was visiting your farm Damn rooster, go pick on something you can eat, you damn rooster I returned to the farm with a little bit of protection Just in case I caught that hell spawn rooster's attention Then came unholy vengeance with claws and a beak Go pick on my younger brother, he has fresh of me Damn rooster, why you gon' done me wrong? I mean you no harm, just was visiting your farm Damn rooster, go pick on something you can eat Damn rooster Back at the farm, angry rooster runs in my direction I hit him with a frying pan, now he is sizzling and will cause nobody any harm Cause now he's with all the fixings, and it's tasty as hell Damn rooster, why you gone done me wrong? I mean you no harm, just was visiting your farm Damn rooster, go pick up something you can eat you damn rooster Damn rooster Why you gon' done me wrong? I mean you no harm Just was visiting your farm Damn rooster Go pick on something you can eat You damn rooster Damn rooster Why you gon' done me wrong? I mean you no harm Just was visiting your farm Damn rooster Go pick on something you can eat, you damn rooster. 